Okay. I posted a few pictures of this fly recently on the internet and I've had a lot of inquiries from people wanting to know how it's tied so here we go I call it one of the serial killer range of nymphs and what I have here is a size 14 jig hook from hens that one there and I have a three millimeter copper colored tungsten bead the thread I'm using is um, fluorescent orange. I start off here just behind the bead. And we build up quite a bit of um, thread here just behind the bead. We want to get the tapered sort of effect. So build up a good, um, I don't know, pile of thread behind this bead and then head back down now for the tail um, I'm using grizzle hackle so I'll just pull out uh, maybe eight or ten fibers and that's going to be the tail which is approximately the same length as the body and tie that in just like that trim the waist now there's numerous materials you can use for um, ribbing the body but what I'm actually using um, is this material here and I'll show you what it is now and I can put my hand on the spool um, Hopefully, there it is. <coughs> That's what it is. Holographic tinsel medium orange. Now, tie in that material like that. Build another bit behind the bead again and back down. Now, for the body, I'm using orange dubbing. And then um, Again, this is hens variety, but you don't necessarily have to use hens. Any orange dubbing that has a little sparkle in it will do the same thing. So, dub on nice tapered rope of that dubbing. Like that. And, starting just here, build it up along. nice tapered body just like that. Now you can um, put in the, the rib, three or four turns is fine, finishing just behind the bead and again build up a nice bit of thread behind the bead again. Now, the next thing, CVC feather. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch it by the tip and fold back the fibre like that. And then I cut it just there. And this little spike here is the part I'm going to tie in just behind the bead. Just one half hitch just in case it might escape and the next part is to catch it with the hackle pliers fold it back on itself and turn fold it back on itself and turn and tie it in there still. Now we trim off the waist again. Now you'll see that the CBC feather is a bit long but we'll fix that momentarily. 
what we need to do is to get a finish on it here so a whip finish and then using hard as nails available from any ladies beauty shop I just rub about down along for about an inch on the thread and again another whip finish and the hard as nails will be absorbed into the thread and make it very secure that's it now all I'm going to do is I'm going to break off if there's too much in any particular place just break it off you can trim it out with your scissors as well if you like you don't have to be too particular in any case that's the fly and that's tied in a size 14 you can tie it in whatever size you like yourself you can vary the materials also but the CVC seems to be an added attractant somebody told me that uh, the CVC holds little bubbles of water when it's uh, submerged and our little bubbles of air should I say when it's submerged and um, apparently that adds to its attractiveness so that's it that's the serial killer nymph in orange <laughs>